U.S. President Donald Trump met Chinese Vice Premier Liu Yandong on Thursday as officials from both nations intensify their discussions ahead of Trump's visit to China. The increased diplomatic activity comes as both sides prepare themselves for a reset in their relationship following a reshuffle of the leadership in Beijing in October and Trump's visit the following month. In the meeting with Liu, Trump said it was important to strengthen the Pia people exchanges with China, adding that he was looking forward to his visit to Beijing and believed it would be very successful. Liu was visiting the United States to chair the first round of the Xina Social and Cultural Dialogues with U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, who was due to arrive in Beijing on Friday. Liu said in her meeting with Tillerson that China and the U.S. should focus on cooperation and properly manage their differences to ensure a stable development of their bilateral ties. Tillerson will meet Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi and State Councilor Yang Jiechi on Saturday. Before flying to Beijing, Tillerson said North Korea would be up for discussion, according to a press release from the State Department, without giving any specifics. What to watch for in Tillerson's China visit North Korean crisis, Sinus trade tensions His visit follows that of U.S. Secretary of Commerce Wilbur Ross, which finished earlier this week. The two sides will also conclude the first round of their law enforcement and cybersecurity dialogue next week, where they will discuss increased cooperation on repatriations, fugitives, counter-narcotics, and also cybercrime. The sessions will be cockhaired by U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions, and Acting Secretary of Homeland Security Elaine Duke on the U.S. side, and State Counselor and Minister of Public Security Guo Shenkin on the Chinese side. The U.S. has been pressing China on a series of economic and security issues. It wants action to curb North Korea's nuclear weapon program, reduce the bilateral trade deficit, protect intellectual property, and give U.S. companies more market access to China. But after two rounds of economic and security dialogue in June and July in Washington, the Trump administration has only made limited progress. While China is still making the final preparations for the 19th Communist Party Congress in October, which will see a reshuffle of the party leadership it will be difficult for the U.S. to set its priorities for the president's visit. Scott Kennedy, a China expert at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, I think Tank based in Washington, said the current conversations between the two governments were relatively modest in ambition. The outcome of the 19th Party Congress will affect China's economic policy trajectory, Kennedy told the South China Morning Post, adding that it would perhaps lead the U.S. to re-examine its judgments on Chinese behavior. He also said that the U.S. had only made marginal progress on reaching an internal consensus on what its major concerns were about Chinese economic behavior how China should change, and what tools or penalties America should use to bring about that change. He argued that until China's domestic political scene is reset and the U.S. settles on an overall China policy, the current dialogues are essentially buying time. No choice for U.S. but to accept a nuclear North Korea, extra analyst says David Lampton, a professor at the Johns Hopkins University School of Advanced International Studies in Washington, told a discussion on sinus relations at the school on Wednesday that if North Korea is still in a state of limbo, economic policy is the only area Trump can make progress in when he visits China in November. It is time for Washington to seriously consider acknowledging that the DPRK North Korea has a modest nuclear deterrent, Lampton said, and to deter North Korea's use of these capabilities and proliferation activity as Washington did with the Soviet Union and China. Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner attend China's National Day reception in Washington despite questions over Beijing links David Petrius, the former director of the CIA, told a policy forum at the same venue on Thursday the biggest challenge of the era is between the U.S. and China. He said there was going to be more competition between the two countries in economics, security and other areas. The Trump administration's rhetoric against North Korea is about getting China's attention, not just about getting Kim Jong-un's attention. Petrius, who is now is now a partner at the New York-based private equity firm KKR, added, China needs to understand the strategic context in the region may change very dramatically.